you are watching DefenseReview.com. I'm here with Jason Geranis from Mission First Tactical, and we are gonna we're gonna look at this uh, stuff here. And what are we looking at? Right here, this is the uh, this is the Mission First Tactical Battlelink Utility Stock. Um, right now, complete with the Highlander pattern from uh, Crypto. Um, we started working with the guys from Crypto about uh, two months ago. Um, they uh, great guys. Um, we uh, asked them if they would uh, mind if we you know, took the pattern and uh, put it on some of our kit. Um, obviously, you can see the camo pattern is completely different than most of anything you'll see out there. Um, but this stuff, um, from our for our money and from all of the testing and the things that we've heard, um, is literally testing off the charts um, in likability as well as concealment. Um, we have, and you have different color schemes here. We do. This is more of the urban pattern. This is called the Typhon pattern. Uh, this is more of the black and gray for the urban environment. Uh, again, another thing that's testing off the charts uh, in an LE and SWAT uh, environment. Uh, they seem to really like this surprisingly because uh, you don't see too much urban camouflage in there. Um, so, like I said, we have a bunch of our stuff dipped uh, just as a uh, kind of a prototype uh, for all of it, uh, but it really came out great. We're really excited about the way it looks, um, and I think uh, the consumer base and some of the people that we work with uh, will be uh, just as excited as we are. Well, very cool. Um, and now, is there like an OD green uh, coloration there that is. they have? Um, and I'm not entirely sure what the name is, uh, but they have, uh, I believe now they have six patterns. Um, they range from a white and gray, uh, which is a uh, kind of a, a, a snow environment, a right. snowy environment, uh, to a obviously the black. Uh, they have a OD green and an even lighter uh, desert camo than that. Uh, right. So they off they're offering a range, a full range. And what's and what's this unit called again? This this uh, butt stock. This is the uh, Battlelink utility stock. Uh, right. This is the uh, kind of the feature stock that Mission First Tactical offers. Um, it's got a cage down here. Here with uh, multiple sling uh, mounting points. Right. The two QD mounts here. Um, it also has a utility rail on the side, a drop down back that is complete with storage. This is watertight storage. You have a sled in here, uh, it diminishes the rattle. Uh, we put that in there for every stock so that everyone has the opportunity to either customize or to use it as is. It's watertight, locks up uh, very easily, nine ounces, um, which is. Uh, uh, for a full-size stock with storage is uh, pretty good on the market uh, right now. Right. Um, the utility sled on here um, is good for, we have a upper mount for a 401 GPS we make. Uh, we also have a lower mount that goes down here. Uh, so when you don't have to take your hands off the rifle in order to check your points uh, wherever you're at. Uh, could be for LE uses as well, uh, for cover suspect. Um, you, you can always check it at low ready. Um, we also uh, make a full-size cheek riser uh, for this. Um, and this is the unit that actually um, is probably the thing that we're most proud of and has pretty much launched Mitchell First Tactical. Um, and do you have another stock? You have another we stock, We do. Right? We, have a, we have a low profile stock, which obviously takes away portions of the cage on the bottom, reduces the weight just a fraction. Um, same basic unit, uh, just eliminates the, uh, the ability to mount the lower 401 GPS. But new for this year is the minimalist stock. Now this is obviously on the same platform as the Battlelink utility stocks, but it cuts everything out. No need for storage, uh, makes it minimal uh, as far as weight goes. Uh, this actually comes in at about uh, four and a half to five ounces, which is dramatically lower and probably will make it the lightest uh, AR stock on the market, um, as well as the strongest. Uh, this has been tested uh, against standard A-frame stocks. Um, the strength to weight ratio uh, on this has is probably double to triple um, on a standard A-frame stock. So which is the most popular between the low pro, between the minimalist, between the standard? What, what's Right now, the standard is the most popular, um, but with the release Even of the, with the soft guys? Even with the, even with the, sorry, yeah, even with the soft guys. But with the 
addition of the minimalist stock, this thing has been getting absolute rave reviews and testing from some of the guys in country, some of the team guys that we work with. Because I would think if you really need really low pro, you're probably going to go to that. Without if you don't, you're probably going to stick with something like that, that that's like full, you know. Absolutely. Like this one is almost going to be like the redheaded stepchild or Absolutely. Or what? It's going to be the in-betweener, and I'm not sure if that's going to be the middle child. I don't know if that's going to work. Right. Um, but this thing is, li is literally, like I said, the, uh, the brainchild uh, of some of the consultant base that we work with. And, you know, it, again, it's going to be, you know, it is for the guy we need to cut weight, cut everything that they absolutely need right. to the bare minimum. Well, very cool. All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. Thank you very much, Jason. I appreciate it. Thank you, David. All right.